currently going to Best Buy to try to get my other camera fixed. You think they'll be able to fix it or won't at Best Buy? I have no idea. <sighs> so apparently we need to call Canon or send it out or something. Yeah, we might have to mail it out to Canon. <sighs> what did you say about the camera that you figured out? I ordered a replacement uh, LED screen and tools to take it apart and fix it. How did you find a, a, a viewfinder by itself for this specific camera? I found a lot of them actually. But how? I searched it online. I would never be able to do that. I would never... I've, that doesn't even make sense to me. How could they even... Well the first uh, few that came up were, all, were Mark II and Mark III. It took me a while to find the G7. G7X. And not the G7. G7 came up, but not the G7X. There's a fly up there. You think she's going to get it? Well, she's actually pretty damn accurate and pretty quick with her balls. I'm currently going to get my new glasses. Any thoughts? Yay. It's, only, it's only yay if it actually makes my, if it's better. But I made him a second opinion appointment for the 15th. 15th, okay. So, these are my new glasses. It's uh, ugh, it's a lot bigger than the other ones. It's kind of weird. Well, right off the bat, I don't know yet if it's better than the other ones. It almost looks like the same, honestly. I can't read those signs over there. Can you? The green one. Easily, yeah. Uh, it took me a while. I don't know. These are good enough. If you look for like some kind of road sign and tell me when you can see it. All right, well, tell me when you can read that green one. Washington. I, of course, I already knew what it was. Oh. Yikes, I don't know if I can... If I were to drive, I, I would have a hard time still, I think. It's not worse. It's not worse than my old ones. Except it looks a little big. But they didn't have anything big, smaller. Well, guys, it's officially September. Well, guys, these are my new glasses. Honestly... I really don't like the way I look in these glasses. They look way too big on me. And you're probably wondering, hey, if you don't like the way they look, why did you pick them? Well, when we were at the eye doctors, all they had was huge glasses. So these were the smallest. So compared to all the big ones they had, this one looked pretty good. Besides looks, not sure if they're actually better. All right, new glasses, old glasses. Honestly, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to be brutally honest, they look exactly the same when I wear them. And the reason why I got new ones is because if I learn how to drive, I need to see road signs. I can't read the road signs. Like, my dad can see them perfectly fine, and he has worse vision than me. Also, they are really hurting around my ears. If it's like this forever, like if the pain doesn't go away, <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do. Because it's like, it's really hurting like right here, around my ear. I don't know if it's just getting used to them, but it, it it really hurts around my ears, especially on the left side. The thing is I have another eye doctor's appointment on the 15th to get a second opinion because the first place, they could not get me to read the small letters. They were able to make me see a little more clearer, but they, I, I, they still, there's like something wrong with my eyes that I can't read small letters for some reason. They did all kinds of tests, they couldn't figure it out, they didn't say there was anything wrong with my eyes, so maybe a second opinion will find a better lens because they could not find one that was much stronger than these ones because they said these were very high like a very strong prescription so in the 2022 update video I said I was gonna learn how to drive this here and I I can't I can't if I can't read road signs because then what's the point I'm not gonna know where the heck I am I'm, I'm not gonna be able to read road signs or any kind of signs unless it's like huge letters and like I said they did all kinds of tests to make sure that there's nothing actually wrong with my eyes like there's an actual like permanent problem or something. It looks a tiny bit sharper. That's it. <laughs> That's literally it. Why are you in the sink? But yeah, let's cut to a more interesting part of the vlog. Hi guys, you see this rock right here? I just picked it up from outside. Um, what, you never seen a man eating a rock before? Well, I got a new camera. Any thoughts? Yeah. What? Yay. 
That's what your thought was? Yeah, awesome. So, he bought a new viewfinder for the camera, and what, what happened with that? I uh, lost one piece to it, a microscopic piece. A microscopic piece. Yeah. I'm still going to try to fix it, though. Okay. I just ran out of time. <laughs> and you got this one for like $400 off somehow? Yeah. How's that even possible? It's called honey. Everybody should try it. <laughs> this video is not sponsored. If it was, I'd have more money. But yeah, I have this camera, new camera now. It's the same one as the old one. Ah, it's so nice to have this viewfinder. I can see it again. Now you can see yourself too. <laughs> so we're currently going to get a second opinion on my glasses and eyesight. Apparently there's a house that burned down. Well, it did burn completely down. It just caught a fire. Oh, okay. But it is somewhere. I don't see any fire damage. There it is. Oh my god. I could... I, I couldn't really get anything on camera. You won't in the way bad. Because your, your, your big face was in the way. Yeah. Also, it's so nice to see out of this viewfinder. I still can't quite read road signs when we're driving. Like, I can't read that one. And I, my radar, I can't anymore either. So, it looks like they might have been able to find something even better for me. Uh, for a new subscription. What, what are they doing with these ones again? What the? I, I wasn't really being able, I wasn't able to follow what was happening. Like they said to go back and see if uh, they'll do a warranty replacement on it. Uh, I feel bad though, because it's like it, the people at the other place are nice. Yeah. But I may be able to see a lot better with this new prescription. So that's the house that burned? Yeah. The, the, the oh my there. god. In back here, look behind it on the roof. Ooh. Yikes. Oh my god. Do you, do you, is there like any kind of news? Like, do I haven't have found anything on the, in the papers I was looking for. Why is, it, why is it following us? Like, everything is always related to fire. Like, my dentist was named Sparks. That's literally a fire term. Mm -hmm. And last night I saw a fire truck go by our house. It was in our driveway. You know what worries me? Mm -hmm. when, when I was in there, uh, I saw a flea on my sock. Mm -hmm. It was only one. But what, but what does that mean? Mm -hmm. I don't like that, because this was right around the time we had fleas. I know. Last year. Like, was it from that place, or our place? It shouldn't be from our place. Cats have never been outside, and I haven't been out in the woods. Did they tear it down? Yeah, it's gone. Oh my god. It's completely gone. Oh my lord. Oh my god, that was that was one day. Yeah. How did they tear down that entire place in one day? It took, it took them like a month to tear down the police station in Phoenixville. Yeah. Oh my god. It's a, the next day and we're just going shopping and apparently it took them 24 hours to tear down that entire building. Yeah. So then you can say it burned completely down because yeah. they had to tear it down. I don't like that. Why is it following us? Well, they must have good insurance because they're going to rebuild it, I'm assuming. But there was no news. There was no... I know. My worst nightmare. Candy shortage. Why? Why is there a candy shortage? I don't know. Is that all your sugar-free stuff? Yeah. We're currently going to a car dealership because he wants a SUV. Any thoughts? Shopping with go. Shopping with go. Well, we'll probably not buy one today. No, they're closed. We're just looking at them. Why do you have the window open? It's so loud. Uh, no. Ah. 16,000? Is this an abandoned gas station? Yeah. Apparently I just had a memory card error. I didn't, I don't know if that recorded any of it. There's dogs running close. There's what? Dogs running close. Where's the dogs? One right there. Oh, I see. And the other one's right up there. All right, then let's get in the car. We didn't see much. I don't know if I recorded any of it because it said memory card error. Are we allowed to do this? Yeah. Well, why are dogs chasing after us? He lives up there. The dogs live there and they let him roam free. Oh. Uh, okay then. All of them were like above $10,000. Yeah. And he wants a $4,000 one. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this video. But before I head out, I just wanna say that, you know, to those people that lost their home. Um, on the off chance that they're somehow watching this video, I'm sorry that you lost your home. 
but unfortunately we don't know like literally anything about this like from the looks of it it looked like just a fire that like i don't know damaged the roof or something i don't know much about it as someone that lost literally everything from his past and my dad he lost everything from his past which was worse for my dad because he lost 53 years worth of stuff. I only lost like 18. But as people that lost everything from our childhoods, um, hopefully they were able to get their stuff. Just sad that, you know, someone lost their house and in our new neighborhood. It's starting to get very creepy the way fire just keeps surrounding us. Like, I know I talk about this like all the time, but there's just so many fire related things that keep happening around my life, like Ashwood, my aunt's old apartment burning down. Um, we thought there was a fire up in the abandoned house. My dentist place was called Sparks, and Sparks is a fire related term. And then this just happened, like, honestly, it, it's getting to a point where it just feels like this is a simulation. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you're brand new to this channel, because if I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm getting a haircut. So make sure to share my channel with all your friends, with all your family, with the hobos on the street, and maybe we'll get a haircut. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.